Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is derive the distance formula, meaning I'm going to find the distance between x1, y1 and x2, y2 by using some algebra and showing you where the formula comes from. If you're not interested in seeing that, wait till I get to the next slide. So fast forward this video to the next slide and that's where I will show you the actual formula and do one example with it. But if you are a person who likes to know where things come from, stick with me and I'm gonna show you that here in the distance formula. The first thing we need to know is what is the ordered pair of this part of the triangle right here? What is this spot? What is that ordered pair? Well, it is the same x value as this guy up here. So it's an x2. And it is the same y value as this guy over here. So it's a y1. Now that I have that point, x2, y1, I can start kind of figuring out the distance between these two points by using the Pythagorean theorem. So I hope you watched Pythagorean theorem video before you're watching this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and label these points with A's, B's, and C's. So I'm gonna call this point A, and I'm gonna call this point B, and I'm gonna call this point C. So if I were using the Pythagorean theorem here, I would say that AB squared so that's this line right here. Plus AC squared is equal to BC squared. So again, going back using our highlighter, we've got AB squared is here. AC squared is here, so leg squared plus leg squared is equal to hypotenuse squared, okay? Now, some of these are pretty easy to figure out, right? So um, first, before I do any of that, I'm gonna get BC by itself, because my whole goal here is to find out the distance from B to C. So if I can go ahead and start my problem with getting BC squared, then I'm just gonna be doing some algebra. So if I wanted to get rid of this square right here, I would have to take the square root of both sides. So if I take the square root on this side, I've got the square root of AB squared plus AC squared, and that's equal to BC. So that square is gone. Now I need to find out, well, how long is AB? Hmm, well, AB is a difference on X's. If we look at it, see here, we've got an X1 and an X2. How about that? Y is the same. So if I did anything with Y, it wouldn't matter. It would just go away, right? Because Y minus Y, the same thing would be zero. So I've got the square root of the distance from A to B, which would be, or B to A, either one doesn't make any difference because I'm going to square it, X1 minus X2 quantity squared. That's all that is, guys, is this AB is this. That's the distance from A to B. Now, my AC is very similar, but this time, look at it, y'all. The distance is the difference between the Y values. See, the Y2 and Y1 are different this time. So I'm going to do Y2 minus Y1 and square that. It does not matter what order I write this in at all, ever, in the whole history of evers. It doesn't matter what order I write this in because I'm going to square it. And if I put in a negative and square it or a positive and square it, I get the same answer. And that right there, guys, that's the distance formula. And that's where it comes from. So if you missed my whole derivation of the distance formula, here is our uh, shortened version of the distance formula. So it's the distance is the difference between the x's, so x1 minus x2, x1 minus x2, and then the difference in the y's, y1 minus y2. And we just plug and chug, really. So here's our example problem. I've got two points and I've got to find the distance. So I'm going to label them. So here's x1 and x2, and here's y1 and y2. And I'm just going to plug these guys into my distance formula. So distance is equal to the square root of, and it really, like I said, it doesn't matter what order I go in. If I go 2 minus 4, I'm going to get a negative. If I go 4 minus 2, I'm going to get a positive. And I like positives better than negatives, so I'm going to go 4 minus 2 
plus, and then this time, let's see, negative 7 minus 6 or 6 minus negative 7. I prefer 6 minus negative 7, so I'm going to go 6 minus negative 7. Then I just simplify. If I have Desmos, guys, I'm going to stick that in my calculator. Okay, so when I simplify that, I get the square root of 173. So I just stuck in 4 minus 2 quantity squared plus 6 minus negative 7 quantity squared, and I left it under the radical in case somebody wanted me to simplify the radical. If I were to approximate that, it would be 13.15. That's it. Distance formula.